Naperville North Boys Tennis welcomes Matia Valley with the DVC regular season winding down. Both teams are fresh off of conference road wins, beginning with the number one doubles where Matia Valley's duo of Rish Rilker and Amea Tiagi take on Brandon Dumbbell and Noah Yoon from North. Dumbbell serves in the near court, but Amea Tiagi is ready and lines a return to the back corner. A perfect placement for the point as the Mustangs jump out to a 3-0 lead in the first set. Later in the set, Yoon serves for the Huskies. The Mustangs have several returns, but North is able to be the aggressors and attack the net. Dumbbell takes a lob and hammers it down for the point. The Huskies are right back in it. Tiagi serves in the far court. North sends it back, but Railker leaps in for the smash. Matia Valley takes the win in straight sets, 6-4, 6-2. In number two doubles, we have the powerful Husky pairing of Cooley Samozo and Arush Bardwaj against the smooth and steady Royce Lalani and Mahir Arya from Matia Valley. Lalani serves in the near court and he comes up towards the net, keeping his volleys low to keep the Huskies from getting full use of their power. The Mustang is then able to use his power on a smash for the point. Matia Valley rolls in the opening set 6-1. In set two, the Huskies find their footing and show how they can be so dangerous. Bardwaj with a big serve before Somozo leaps up for a monster smash right near the net. Naperville North serving again later in the set, this time looking to use lobs to chase the Mustangs to the back line. Arya does a nice job to track down the ball, but now the Huskies approach the net and Bardwaj spikes home the point. Matia Valley looking to close things out, leading 5-3 in set number two. Lalani with a serve and returns designed to keep the ball low once again. That allows Arya to step in and smash home the lob. The Mustangs hold on for a two-set victory, 6-1, 6-3. Matia also wins at four doubles, while North gets a win at three doubles. In order to win the match, the Huskies now need to sweep the three singles matches. Alex Maitland moves into number three singles for North, as he faces Nakash Divakaruni from Matia Valley. Maitland wins the first set 6-4, but the Mustang is in control most of the second set. Divakaruni is a slower paced player who likes to force his opponent to beat themselves. That is exactly what he does here with a series of nice returns, until Maitland sends one too long that lands out of bounds. We head to a third set after the Mustang takes set two by a 6-2 score. Maitland is able to regain control in the third set as he serves in the far court. While Diva Karuni is able to send the ball back over several times, Maitland drops a cutting shot just over the net for the point, and he wins set 3 6 to 3 to add to the Husky tally. Naperville North freshman Yansen Liu has performed well in two singles all season long, and now he moves up to the number one spot for the Blue and Orange. His first DVC test is one of the toughest in the area, as Akshay Bade awaits for the Mustangs. Bade looks to remain undefeated in conference play, but the young Husky is not going down without a fight. Yu gets the backhand going late in the first set, and blasts one down the line that stays in bounds. A beautiful return that earns some applause from his opponent. Lou looking to show some power on his serve, but Bade sends a strong liner back the other way and forces the ball into the net. Despite some promising flashes, Lou is unable to keep up with Bade in this matchup. The Mustang with a great serve that Lou sends back before Bade quickly puts away for the point and the victory in straight sets, 6-0, 6-1. Wrapping things up at two singles, where Jack Jordan returns from Matia Valley as he faces another Naperville North freshman, Max Buxbaum, who moves up from number three singles. Late in the opening set, Buxbaum uses a lot of spin on his return, using more finesse than power, but on this point he unleashes a strong forehand shot that evades Jordan for the point. The Husky takes the opening set 6-0. A much different story in the second set as Jack Jordan finds his footing. He approaches the net following his serve and goes underhand to push a shot past Buck's bomb for the point as it's a tight one in set two. Buck's bomb hopes to close things out late in the set as the pair exchange a long volley of lobs near the back line. Neither player can seem to get the upper hand, so Jordan takes a little off one of his returns that lands just over the net. Buxbum runs up and just drops it back over for the point. 
he takes set two 6-4 to, to pick up another singles victory. However, Mattia Valley hangs on for the team win by a 4-3 score over Naperville North, following an entertaining afternoon of tennis. Well, my opponent started making a lot more of his shots in the second set, so I really had to adjust and try and hit some more winners, move him around a little bit more, run a little bit more than in the first set. So it was an adjustment, but I'm glad I was able to pull it out in the end. Uh, yeah, so obviously we started out pretty strong. Uh, we both served in great. Our volleys were a little shaky to begin, but gradually picked up. Um, second set, they also picked up their game a little bit, so that was something we had to keep in mind, but uh, we were still able to keep strong, we still served well, they were, we kept them off their toes, so overall it was really confidence boosting for us and overall really solid game. Yeah, I just feel like we were just making one extra ball every single time, running to everything, being, trying to be as aggressive as possible, and I think that really helped us to pull through today. Just making one more ball than the opponent was the, was the key today. Definitely a little bit more of a challenge than three singles, but I realized I need to move up to two just so my team can be better overall, even if it is more challenging for me at two singles. And I think I'm, I'm good at rising to challenges, so I hope I can continue to win more matches at two singles in the future. Yeah, I, I think we're all really excited, especially since, since we have a strong number one, uh, strong head lineup. Um, so that's really gonna help us going to the postseason. Yeah, well, obviously we have all of our lineup is really balanced. We have a strong lineup from four to one. Um, everyone's been performing really well all season. Definitely me and Royce have been playing really well, winning all of our DVC games so far. So games like this, they're really good confidence boosters for us in DVC. I really like the new lineup. We've done, I think, three lineups this season. The first one, I mean, wasn't working out so well. We lost some matches we maybe should have won at the beginning of the season. But I definitely like the new lineups there. I think we can win more matches with them in the future, even if it is a transition. 